What's going on guys? Car Review Guys here. My name is AJ and we are back with the 2023 Lexus NX 450H Plus F Sport Handling All-Wheel Drive. And the this is not the full review. The full review will be in the link down below. Today's video is going to be five things to love, five things to improve. You guys know the drill. If you're not new, we try to keep these ones a little bit shorter. And uh, yeah, let's roll. Stepping into the interior, we're going to start with number one on the five things to improve, and that is right in front of me. That is the digital display in front of us. Hopefully you can see pretty well. The lighting is a little bit brutal, but over on the left and on the right, that is actually not part of the digital display screen. I would really like to see uh, coming up, hopefully, the whole thing being a digital display. I think it just look a little bit cleaner. Again, it's a nitpick, right? Like it's not a big deal, but nonetheless, it's something that could certainly improve. Number two is the center screen. It's big, it's everything you could ever want. The only improvement, again, it's pretty much all of the newer Toyota Lexus, is having the ability to do a split screen. So like having your music on one side and then the map on the other with how big the screen is, it actually is really useful. And unfortunately, you cannot do that in this. The most split screen you're gonna get is by pressing this button and your climate controls pop up and it makes it a little bit smaller. That's, that's about all you're gonna get on this one. But other than that, it's beautifully done. Number three on the list is the rear view mirror. And there is not an option for a digital mirror. So that would be nice. I think we're in the class on the price tag to have a fully digital mirror at this point. So again, it's small, but nonetheless. Number four is here in the rear seat. You're gonna notice you have two vents and some chargers. And over here on the door panel, you just have your lock and unlock and your window switch. There is no option for heated or and or cooled seats for the rear. And I think again, at this price point, there's gonna be people like myself that would certainly pay to get that upgrade in the rear seat. Last but not least on this list is number five, and that is the color of the interior. So on the F Sport handling, which if you want this one with all of the stuff and features, you can only get two options of colored interior, and that is what you see behind me, black or you can have a red combination. However, I think it would be nice to have an option for a light color, whether that's a light gray, a white, something lighter color, because like right now it's already 93 degrees here in Arizona and this black interior, whew, I am sweating like a beast. Thank goodness it has cooled seats, but we're gonna get into the, well, all the good stuff right now, but we gotta roll the cinematic. beautifully done vehicle like just the black wheels look really good really sporty you've got the big stylish mesh grille these led runners are super aggressive everything about the exterior of this suv like i genuinely like it and i'm gonna be honest i'm not a big suv guy i'm really more of a car guy but my goodness i mean for 
it's so gorgeous. Stepping back inside, number two on the list is the seat design with the features and the F-Sport handling has the sportier seats. You can see the F-Sport in the headrest there. You've got some bigger bolsters, of course, and I think they fit really nicely. I mean, for majority of people, you're gonna really like them. If you're a bigger person, maybe you won't, I'll be honest, but for me, they're so nice and to have them sporty with heated and cooled seats super nice there are still believe it or not many sporty type of seats don't have ventilated seats there's many out there that do but there's also many that don't so it's great to have it in this vehicle number three on the list is the tech in here i mean just flipping the camera around you've got again at least some mostly digital display right there You've got heads up display out in front of us. I don't know if you can see it, it's insanely bright outside. You have a really nice touch screen. It looks nice, it's actually functional, like just touching it, it's super responsive. I mean, I really like all of the tech in this. Plus you've got your lane centering, you've got your adaptive cruise control with all your settings using it up uh, with the heads up display. You've got memory seating over here on the left. Like, there is a lot of tech in this vehicle. Had to make the list. Number four on the list, and number four and number five on, the, on this list are my absolute favorite things about this vehicle, personally. And number four is how smooth and how quiet this thing rides. I mean, again, it is a Lexus through and through. If you've driven any thing, I mean, the 300, the 350s, like it doesn't matter what you drive as far as like ES, NX, R, like anything, LX, they all ride insanely smooth and quiet. And you guys know this, I've said it before, the only one that I've driven that is not up to the same standard, in my opinion, is the UX. That's the only one, which it's the cheapest one. So, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, you can only get so much for how much money you're spending, blah, blah. This thing rides so good. Cannot brag about it enough. It rides really good. Tying in with that is number five, and that is the powertrain slash all wheel drive. And what I mean by powertrain is the power because pushing over 300 horsepower with the all wheel drive, still getting good gas mileage and getting a zero to 60 of between 5.6 to six seconds flat. Lexus says six seconds flat. I've gotten a 5.7. Other reviews have gotten 5.5. You get the idea. It's quick. I mean, it moves for an SUV for a hybrid that's literally designed really to get great gas mileage, which it does. So to have good gas mileage along with feeling peppy Good combination just saying all right hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video if there's anything else you want to know comment down below again this is not the detailed review detailed review is linked down below so if you're wanting to see that go check that out it's gonna probably answer a lot of questions you may have and it goes through everything in this in detail please like please subscribe and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one peace